We have some breaking news for you this morning. Firefighters are on the scene of a massive fire at the Plaza Lanes Bowling Alley in Des Moines on Douglas Avenue. I know we've been getting some images into the newsroom and they are just massive. Channel 13's Christina Salonikas is on the scene to tell us a little more. I know you've just been able to kind of get there and get in place, but what are you hearing so far? And, and what is this like from your perspective? It looks huge from where we're, we are. Brooke and Andy, the flames are at least 10 to 15 feet tall. I'm actually going to step out of the shot. Plaza Lanes just collapsed moment, moments ago, at least a minute or so. As you can see, there are fire crews trying to save as much as they can of Plaza Lanes. I talked to one man that was here. He said he's been here for at least a half hour and that the fire started in the back corner of the building and then quickly caught on fire to the roof. And once it caught onto the roof, it kind of the fire, you know, over escalated from there. We saw the iconic Plaza Lanes bowling man on top of the building fall down. And then shortly after the building fell down, there's a huge hole now, as you can see inside Plaza Lanes. Fire crews are trying to battle it from every corner possible. Brooke and Andy, they're going through the side door. They have them overcast. They've got at least four to six hoses on this building. But from what I can see, I don't think they're going to really have much of a recovery. We do not know how this fire started yet. Once we find that out, we will keep you up to date with more on that. But like you said, I know you've been seeing images in the newsroom for the last few minutes and these flames are huge. I have never seen flames so big and you can smell the ash and the smoke, Andy and Brooke. I mean, there's just a huge cloud of smoke in the sky. There is already a little bit of fog this morning over here, but these uh, smoke clouds are making it way worse. If you can see, there are ashes sparking within the sky, right by the flames. I mean, it's it's pretty uh, scary how quickly this building just collapsed. Moments when we got here. Uh, okay, we can see that, uh, Christina. Yeah, obviously that is that is a really large complex there, the Plaza Lanes. There are a number of buildings. Uh, a, a restaurant uh, is attached as well. There are some other large businesses nearby. Look like they are, uh, if not directly affected, they may be on fire themselves. I know. Does it look like, uh, Christina, from your perspective, with some of those businesses that are close to the bowling alley, have they started to catch fire, or is it pretty contained to the bowling alley? Can you get a sense of that yet? It's yeah, so far from my understanding, it looks like it's the bowling alley itself. This whole building, though, is on fire. So if they're attached to the building, they're pretty much up in flames. All of Douglas Avenue, just so you know, is completely blocked off. Every way you can try and turn onto Douglas, the police cars have blocked off the whole intersection, the whole street. There are people from across the street where we are right now by some beauty salons and whatnot of people standing and just watching this building that, you know, one person told me is an icon here in Des Moines, just go up in flames and slowly tumble down. It's, uh, it's pretty uh, scary. You can see, again, the flames, they're, they're still coming. They are not stopping. I don't know if they have a control of the building yet or not, but when we first got here, I mean, there were 10 to 15 foot flames. Now they look like they're down to maybe 10 to 8 feet flames. It, it's, yeah, uh, it, it looks like, I mean, even even bigger than that, Christina. And we've heard it's a three alarm fire. Uh, do you have any idea? how many firefighters or how many trucks? I mean, we're seeing the ladder trucks, at least it looks like a couple of yeah. ladder trucks, which tells us um, the seriousness of this fire. But can you tell how many fire trucks or how many firefighters are on the scene? There's at least uh, 10 fire trucks here on the scene and I'm seeing a dozen, if not more firefighters here. I mean, they're constantly coming in and going out to get as much water as they can. As you can see, I mean, there's probably maybe 20 firefighters just alone on the ground right over here, trying to find different ways to contain the fire. They've opened all the doors possible to try and get water in that way, as well as overhead. We saw some fire trucks as well get going into alleyways when we were first driving over here because there really wasn't much room for parking and them just trying to find a different spot to uh, start hosing down the building. 
Yeah, there are a number of other businesses right there around it. There is an Amco Transmissions right there. Uh, there is a couple of little strip malls as well. This is uh, on Douglas Avenue right near the intersection of uh, Douglas and MLK. It's just to the northwest of that intersection, a very busy part of town. Christina talking about Douglas Avenue being closed for all this this morning. That is no surprise. You can see all of the trucks there right now. See a lot of the water out there, just sort of the spray from trying to put out this fire, uh, reflecting off of the pavement this morning on uh, what is uh, already a very foggy morning out there. This is clearly contributing a lot of smoke to the area. Um, Plaza Lanes is an entire sports complex. They really have a lot there. There is a large restaurant attached. Uh, there is a, a whole volleyball court system, a very large bowling alley as well. Randy Thompson, the owner of that business, is a very active Des Moines businessman, certainly has put a lot of time and effort and money into that uh, business there as it is uh, maintained You can itself. see part of the building now starting to collapse right. there in the middle. middle. That kind of uh, iconic the arch there that uh -huh. you saw, uh, actually that is gone now. That is... Uh, completely fallen in. There is a, a video store. I believe it's an Asian grocery store now there on the corner right next to uh, Plaza Lanes. Wondering if that is affected. This fire is uh, burning at such a rate right now that it would be hard to imagine it only containing itself to that one structure. But you can see now a number of fire crews really uh, working to try to keep this thing as contained as possible. But this is uh, one of the largest fires that we have seen in quite a while here in Des Moines right now. I think you can look at this picture right now, Brooke, and sort of uh, harken back to maybe the Yonkers building fire would be something on scale with this, maybe a little bit larger, but this is uh, this doesn't look like it's showing any signs of, of going out. And because out it's such soon. a massive structure, as you pointed out, if you've ever been over to that area, it takes up <clears throat> almost an entire block. Um, it is a huge bowling alley and more than that, as you've said before and so if it caught fire and then was able to to spread um, throughout the building you can see why it has become such a a massive fire and it, it yes the building is starting to collapse there in the middle yeah this is a this is the area right where douglas avenue kind of splits off and becomes euclid avenue uh, there on on the city's near north side right near the intersection of douglas and uh, MLK, that's a busy part of town just north of the river there. You can see on the map right now, and that, uh, that uh, flame graphic that we have going there uh, really probably is a pretty accurate representation of just uh, how many buildings there are kind of affected by this fire right now. Um, they have closed off Douglas Avenue, I believe, from both directions, and that would certainly make perfect sense. This is uh, just to the northeast of the Broadlawns uh, Hospital Complex. So uh, fire crews doing what they can at this point. That is uh, a total loss right now, probably and just trying to make sure that this doesn't, doesn't spread. Doesn't spread. At this point, it looks like that's probably the fear. Uh, Christina, you are, you've only yes. been there maybe half an hour, if even that. Um, just in, in the past couple of minutes, as you've been kind of talking to us live on the air, do you have any sense now? And it, because we can't really tell, has the fire started to go down just a little? Um, is it getting bigger? The part of, yeah, the part of the building that has collapsed, they've seemed to really take that part out. But this fire, is, I don't think it's contained yet, Brooke and Andy. I mean, you can see it right here. The flames are continuing to go at least 10 to 15 feet in the air. Where the building has collapsed, they seem to it seem to uh, tone itself down the fire itself, but still the huge center of the building is all up in flames. Like you said, they're really at this point just trying to make sure to contain it and so it doesn't spread. Even parts of the corner where the building did collapse, that part is still up in flames. That's where the uh, iconic bowling man once stood. We saw it fall down and then within a few minutes later that part of the building itself collapsed they originally broke out the window where you saw that arches that Andy was talking about to try and get the flames to come out that way so there would be some oxygen coming through to help control it but overall it clearly did not work and the building did fall 
now more towards the back of the building. It is still up in flames. We have people on the sidewalks calling uh, loved ones, letting them know what is going on right now. And Christina, where are and, you exactly? Uh, are you in yes. front uh, of the building uh, along um, Douglas? Is yes. that where you are? We are in front of the building. Yes, we're along Douglas on the front of the building across the street in a little strip mall. We were able to park our car because, like I said earlier, Douglas is completely blocked off. So trying to get over here was very difficult for good reason. They're trying to keep people safe and out of the way from these flames. So we're on a sh we're at a strip mall in a uh, in a parking lot, and it looks like a lot of people. Um, uh, you know, it's early like in the I morning. Said, I mean, the flames are still going; they are not stopping at all. This building, like you said, is uh, it's really it's gone. It's done for. And there are people. They're videoing. You know, they're calling loved ones. Yeah, it looks like a lot of people have started to come out, Christina, um, even mid-American maybe coming uh, to the scene, it looks like, that that truck that is just pulling in. Um, it's early, but I mean, this is, if you live in this area, it's probably hard to ignore what is going on. Yeah, I, we, we have some video uh, shot just a few minutes ago. Uh, you can actually see the arch there, the roof collapsing as we see that come down in what just looks like an absolute fire storm oh, there. We use that term a lot, but that is uh, what we're talking about there. That is a, a massive fire to bring down that, con that, that, that structure there at Plaza Lanes. As we know, uh, a, a very popular very busy bowling alley, if not the largest, if not the largest uh, in the area is certainly one of them, but you can see that uh, just coming down just a few minutes ago, this video uh, just from a few minutes ago there along Douglas Avenue, the Plaza Lanes bowling alley is, uh, is burning to the ground uh, quite literally at and, this point. Brooke. And this is, like you said, it, it does kind of remind me uh, a little bit of the Yonkers fire, just the, the massive size of the fire and of the structure. This is, we're going back now live uh, to the scene. We were showing you some recorded video uh, from the collapse, but we're now back live on the scene and you can see some of those trucks, the ladder trucks that have brought in. There are several of those as they try to get to the fire from above. It looks like mid-American crews perhaps on the scene as well. We've got lots of power lines in that area, which no doubt makes this very dangerous, um, a scary situation for the people who are putting this fire out as they try to contain it and keep it from spreading to some of those nearby businesses. And, and Brooke, we, we know that this is an area of Des Moines that the city leaders have just committed a restoration project to this Douglas Avenue corridor as a, a, a method of, of trying to um, reestablish uh, some of uh, the businesses that have, have moved out of this area. And there is no doubt that Plaza Lanes was set to be kind of um, a, a hub uh, for business activity. This has been a very successful business here owned by Randy Thompson for many years. Uh, a, a very popular place for family recreation. Now, we will also point out that this is a morning that so far is full of fires. This is not the only fire that is going on in the Des Moines Metro this morning. Uh, we also have reports uh, from a, a couple of house fires as well. I'm going to show you those on a map as we have cameras headed to these two spots. This would be uh, over in not too far away from, well, really not Just too right far. Just right off Forest, it looks like. Not on real six, far away sixth from. Sixth and Forest, right. Yeah, not kind far of from the fire. East of the Drake area here. This is Forest Avenue, uh, all along Sixth Avenue, 1410, 1412, and 1416. Sixth Avenue are all on fire right now. Officials have confirmed that two people were assisted out of one of these homes here. Sixth Avenue right now, Brooke, is closed between Clark and Forrest. Okay, so we're not, it, we're still kind of getting some of the, the details about these fires. So we're not sure at this point if the fire started at one of the houses and then spread to the other two. Those details have not been confirmed, but at least we know that two people have been assisted out of one of the homes. That is, that is some good news. These are, uh, yeah, a couple of uh, very, uh, 
concerning situations for fire. Uh, Plaza Lanes, I, I, again, I don't think we've seen a fire like this in a number of years. And the firefighters right now still struggling to try to um, get some sort of control over that so it doesn't spread out to all the businesses that are, are really surrounding that Plaza Lanes in an area that we know uh, has a lot of commercial businesses there. There are, as we said, that strip mall, and there are a lot of businesses kind of on that side of the street near Plaza Lanes. Um, to the other side is that county development, of course, so there's a little bit of breathing room uh, over there, but you're right, there are a lot of businesses in that area, and um, trying to save some of those is, is no doubt one of the priorities for firefighters. We're actually going to take a break and uh, let Christina talk to some of uh, hopefully someone on the scene who could maybe give us some more information about what is going on and we're going to continue to try to get more information about those house fires as well which uh, are near that area and we'll be back right after this from WHO HD the local news leader you're watching channel 13 news today in Iowa